Are we on Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Only take messages that resonate. You know intuitively, spirit guides, universe, ancestors of the highest right now. Please give me messages for Pisces. We got the seven of wands. Some of you guys, you need to protect your energy. Okay? Because you got someone that's trying to, like, invade your, your privacy or something like that. Somebody is irritating the shit. Like, just purry. What's the seven of wands? <laughs> the three of pentacles. Could be an Aquarius. This person is... They don't have no boundaries. Like, this person be overstepping people's boundaries and shit. Like, this person is irritating as fuck. Who is this person? What's this? The lovers in reverse. Somebody that you don't have love for anymore? Like, you love this person, but you're not in love with this person. Or you don't have, like, you get what I'm saying, Pisces. Y'all know. What's this lovers in reverse? Someone is no longer praying, hoping, or wishing for this connection no more. But somebody's not getting it. So they just going to keep overstepping your boundaries until you, like, real life. I don't know what this person wants you to do. Because you see how you sitting right here in your own little bubble. But somebody just keep trying to get your attention or keep trying to, like, somebody just annoying. Like, they don't respect your privacy or something like that. Or they'll let you have space or some shit like that. What's this death card? Yeah, the emperor. What's this emperor? You can have Aquarius in your chart, or you could be a Scorpio. Or you can have Scorpio or Aquarius in your chart, or you could be dealing with Aquarius or a Scorpio or a Gemini. The A to come, yeah, you're so detached. Like, you, you're so detached, bruh. Mm. Queen of Wands. The moon card. This person thinks they're slick. Or they think that they got everything figured out. Who is this person, bro? They like so irritate. Like that's how I know they irritate you because I don't even want to talk about this person. Like somebody wants to make their so important and they're not. Probably one point in the time in your life they were important. But they're not anymore. But Somebody, uh, anyway, that's why you feeling stuck. You're at a stalemate. This person make you feel irritated. Like, this person irritates you. Because I'm irritated. And maybe you're not trying to come on with being mean or something like that. So you're trying to, like, give this person a benefit of the doubt. Because you feel like no matter what you say, this person still won't listen to nothing you're saying. So you just feel like it just be a waste of time to even just waste your breath on this person. So you let this person do whatever they want to do. You got to stop doing that. Because the more you keep letting this person do what they want to do, the more that you're not going to learn the lesson and they're not going to learn the lesson. Because they're going to feel like that they got every right to act the way that they're acting in your life. Three, three, three. You got to stop that shit. Because you're creating a bigger monster than what you can control. That's why this person act the way that they act. Because you're not putting this person in their place. Okay, and so what? If they fucking feelings get hurt. And they feel some kind of way. The fuck, you got to learn how to protect yourself. And your peace. And your sanity. And your, just protect you. Sometimes when we worry too much about other people's feelings and how we're going to disappoint them. We it's like we're being miserable for some shit we don't have to be miserable about. We got the seven of cups. Like you like, I don't know how I'm gonna break this to this person. I don't know how I'm gonna say this. So I just don't wanna start shit. I'm just don't wanna argue. I just don't wanna You ain't got no choice. You keep trying to avoid these towers, they're gonna build up and become more harder. I'm telling you, take it take it from me first. I learned it. I had to go through shit. And especially if you know me, you probably already heard all the towers I damn near been in by dealing with the same situation y'all dealt with, with an ex or with a lover. Just hurry. I'd rather just go through the towers and sit up here and try to avoid it. Full, full, full. You are protected. So what's the worst can happen? That they gonna keep fucking up your shit? I did it! I did it! Okay, in the same way she fuck up your shit. 
Mommy. I be reporting her dumb ass. Mommy. I'm telling you, y'all got to be smarter than these motherfuckers. Mommy. You got to. Mommy, I'm tired. So go up there and then. You got to be 10 steps ahead of this person. Like, because I'm pretty sure if it was you and, you see, this is what I'm saying. If the shoe was on the other fit and that was you vandalizing shit, doing this, doing that, you will be going to jail, bruh. You will be in jail. You see what I'm saying? It don't make sense. But when it's her, it's like she can just get away with the shit. That's why this person feel like that they can just come in your domain and just do whatever the fuck they want to. Because you allowing it. Shit, if it was me, bitch, I'd get your ass back. Yeah, you call the police on me, bitch, I'm calling the police on you. Now, how you like, yeah, people don't never like what you do, but they do to you to them. It's pretty. It's always like that. You got to hit people where it hurts sometimes, too. The fact you ain't going to sit up here all your life be doing shit to me and not expect me to do nothing to you, bitch, no. You fuck my shit up, hoe, you going to jail. And every time you do something to my shit, I'm going to take a picture of it. I'm going to do all that. I'm going to build so much evidence on your ass, you're going to be looking stupid. Because you're going to think that I keep allowing you in my space. Like, shit, cool. Nah, 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 nigga. I mean, I got something for your ass. Yeah, you probably don't want to have to deal with it and go through it. But look, look, look. If you want your peace, you ain't got no choice. And this ain't the energy that's out here. It's just the energy I'm feeling, bro. Who, honey? As I told you, you're protected. Your guides is backing you up on whatever decision you make. It's just once you go through with this decision, you got to stand on it. Because they can't try to help you and guide you and try to give you, like, other ways around situations if you're not willing to listen or do it or, or take heed to it. Like, fuck no. The high priest is, Yeah, that's what I said. I'm just channeling somebody's energy. Just listening to my intuition. What's this high priestess? The page of Mars in reverse and the knight of wands. I don't know what this person be doing. I guess this person be thinking like, and that's probably how this person getting you. Because they probably having sex with you or they doing something to you sexually to get you caught up. So you can stay in this illusion. It's an illusion, buddy. It's an illusion. I don't give a fuck how good the head is. I don't give a fuck how good the box is, bro. It's just not happening. Like, you, you, mm -hmm, buddy. I don't know, buddy. What's the page of wands? In reverse with the knife of wands. Then the head ain't even all that good with the page ones. You can't even... Look, I ain't got time for it, bro. Yeah, you want to talk to somebody else. Or divine feminine. Or you want to communicate. You got some questions to ask this person. This person is still in your energy, though. I can feel it because I'm irritated. Like, I don't even want to finish this reading, Pisces. But you, okay, it did. But you're intuitively connected to your feminine. It's just ridiculous. Like, you know, you can't hide nothing from her. We got the uh, the devil. I'm telling you, the devil is on your ass. You got the devil glued to your ass. You need to get this devil off your ass, bro. Or 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 it's a female or a man or whoever. You're not gonna be able to like. Somebody got the devil glued to their ass. Like, literally. Like, they cannot shake this demon. Like, somebody is possessed. And maybe this person don't know that they're possessed. I'm not talking about this masculine. It's, it's whoever this person is around. They possessed. This person don't... Like, that's the only way somebody do dumb ass shit like that. You possess, bro. Because any normal human being, they not going to go out their way to just do too much. Or keep trying to, like, have sex with you or sleep with you to, like, confuse you. Yeah, you need to take your power back with the strength card. This person is, like, invading of space and privacy. They doing too fucking much. Look, I'm just the messenger. 
You can't sit and say I'm invited. I'm invading anybody's space and privacy just for one. If you watch me, you already know your shit gonna come up because you watching. Then if you my divine counterpart, of course I'm gonna pick your storyline up because you're my person. It's not like I'm going to go look for it and like, oh, let's see what he's doing. Or, oh, let's see what she's doing. Because once I feel like I didn't gave too much advice and it's not working, I'm not about to keep doing it. Okay? okay. Some people really I got to be destroyed, destroyed, like down to their knees, yeah. down to their last in order to leave somebody the fuck alone. Like, I don't understand. I'm telling you, I've been there. I learned my lesson already with my ex. I'll be damned if I lose everything because of you, bruh. You, you got the game fucked up. You gonna be dismissed real quick. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So that's why I said, and, uh, what sign was that? In Aquarius or Virgo? I was like, sometimes you gotta lose everything in order to like make sense of shit, bruh. Got to. That's the only way you gonna understand. That this person is not helping you at all. They taking and destroying you. And then it's like, wow, this is crazy. He's losing everything for somebody else. I'll be there. And it's not like you did it in the own hands of yourself. Like, it's not like you took it upon yourself to lose everything by you. It's from this person. It's by this person. They like, yo, you're not going to have shit if you ain't with me. So you be miserable and have everything with somebody and be miserable. Yeah. Or you rather not have nothing and be happy. I take the second option. I rather not have nothing and be happy. Still have my sanity, peace of mind. And still be um fun a, a functional person each and every day. I'm going to lie. I'm going to stay back. But then say, oh, but yeah. what? I don't understand yeah. it. I don't give a fuck how much money this bitch got. I have to play. Games. I don't give a fuck if she. I don't give a fuck. I'm telling you, because that's what they do. They dangle that shit in your face. Oh, I got this, I got that. Oh, if you leave me, you ain't gonna have shit. Okay, bitch, I'm not gonna have nothing then, hoe. The fuck? Ain't nobody pressed but you, hoe. The fuck? Like, stop what you doing. I'm telling y'all, y'all be tripping. The same way I lost, the same way I can gain it back, bitch. Like, you ain't, you, it, this shit ain't stop when you stop, ho. Like, people gotta understand that shit. Just because you got all this, this, that, the third don't mean I can't go get it myself. The fuck? It's just yours is contaminated because you possess. You're the devil, motherfucker. The fuck? I'm about to sit up here and live in hell and have riches. You tripping, bruh. I want to live in heaven and have riches. Not having nightmares or anything, and, and, and sleepless nights and hot sweats and shit like that. Because I'm sleeping next to a demon. The fuck? All because this demon got everything that I want. Bitch, you can have that shit and some. The fuck you be? And more, bitch. I, I don't want that shit. I'm telling y'all, look, y'all better than me, bro. You're better than me. Because I be letting a lot of people have it. Like, you can have that shit. Fuck you mean? If I got to say and be miserable with you, bitch, it's nothing serious. Or with a man. Now, this could be anybody. A man, a woman. It could be anybody. Take away a resident. Where's this? I'm not about to be sitting up here moping in the corner every fucking day and every night. Just because you got this and you got that, bitch. Okay, you can have it and some. And more. Just get the fuck away from me. Somebody possessed. I'm telling you they is. What's this? Like they're possessed, bruh. Okay. Well, you get this you irritating have. ass energy and like feeling this. when you're around this person. You got anxiety, you anxious, you nervous. Like, you don't know if you want to smile, be happy. You don't know what you want to feel. You just all over the place. Because this person. Like, it's just an emotional roller coaster. You want to get off the motherfucker, but you can't like seem to unstrap the seatbelt. Or just, what is it, the little eject button? Okay. Like, you don't know how to eject yourself off of the motherfucker. Or out of the motherfucker or something. Where's the strip card? Now we got the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, somebody wants a new beginning with you. I'm trying to strategically find a way how to. But they're not strong enough because they keep getting drained by the person that they're around. Or they're building up their strength and confidence. 
it, it's, it's because of you is why this person feels strong enough to do certain things that they do. Because let you tell it, if it was up to this person that they with, oh, no, nah, this person would be at the Knight of Wands. They wouldn't be able to see their strength. They wouldn't be able to see that they're the emperor or the empress. The more that they stay around this person. They'll be feeling like a knight. Like a knight of wands. Like a little ass child. Little ass boy or a little ass girl. Or like what? This person don't even make this person feel like a man. Like who? I'm getting stressed out just by thinking of this shit. I'm telling you, I would be so irritated. You're not about to sun me, cuz. What's wrong with you? Like, somebody be real loud, be getting sunned. Like, they came out of this person's pussy or something like that. Yeah, all right. Bitch, you'll be getting smacked the fuck up. I'm sorry. Take me to jail. Because, bitch, you'll be getting smacked at this point. My breaking point, I wouldn't even be able to deal with. I just wouldn't. Like, we'd be in the WWE SmackDown all night, or every day, I'm telling you. Because I'd be smacking the shit out of her, out of this her. They call me violent at this point. Yeah, hey, that's what people do when they irritate your spirit. They make you violent. All of a sudden, you're violent. You see, that's how I know this person is a demon, bro. <laughs> that's how I know this person is a demon. Mommy, what Why is this person making you violent? You see how I'm talking? I'm not a violent person. I would give hugs before I even be violent. Like, you got to real life get me out of character or provoke me. Or you got to real life shh, piss me the fuck off to become violent or to curse you out or to get out of character. Because I'm so balanced and so grounded. That's why I say it takes a lot to get me out of character. That's how I know this person's spirit is messed up. Because they make you violent. They make you want to just be so, I don't know. I'm telling you, I experienced it. Then it's like, you could be chilling, you could be calm, cool, collect you down to earth, say like y'all going somewhere. S somebody can sideswipe you, not even sideswipe you. Somebody can cut you off in the lane, here come this person screaming and yelling at the per It's not that serious, shut up. Like, you get mad over the stupidest, can you stop? Back up, get up. Like, sometimes people get mad over the dumbest shit. Get up, go over there. Like, it's okay to, like, verbalize yourself, but not when you're having an outburst. Like, everything irritates you. Why is everything irritating you? That's why I said somebody's just irritating. And they don't see that they're irritating. As I said, you can't come over here and shut me the fuck up and tell me stop talking. Because, for one, y'all checking for me. I ain't checking for y'all. Like, real life shit. I'm just saying. Okay. Then it's like after all the little gossip and slander people that did on you. Or this particular person, it's like you're still moving forward. Mm-mm-mm. That's what I said. If I feel like I got to spread rumors and lies on somebody, I'm just not going to say nothing to you at all or about you. But if my intuition is telling me that this is what somebody doing around you, that's what they doing, bro. It's irritating. Why is this seven of swords here? Ten of swords. Be careful because somebody could be just trying to come towards you to like betray you. Like someone ain't too trustable or too reliable. Somebody is just not reliable. This person can steal it from you and all that. Now, we'll get to the point where you got to start hiding shit or you got to push it up or push it somewhere else. That's when you know. That's how you know. Like, what? Shit go missing all of a sudden. This person come around. Or what? I don't understand it. That's what I say. I just don't understand it. I, I experienced that. I'm telling you. And then they always be like, nah, you had it. Or I don't know. Remember, you had it. You took it and you did this with it. Bitch, I ain't take nothing and do nothing with it. Ho, stop lying. Who is this person? They irritating the shit, bro. They just irritating. Like, you know you're dealing with a thief when a thief sit. 
<laughs> sit and tell you what you did with it. <laughs> so how you know I did it with it? How you know I did this with it, bruh? Like how? How, bruh? How you gonna tell me what I did with something that I ain't even do or didn't even touch? Or didn't even move. That's how I say it feels like it's around a thief. A smooth thief. She just be coming up missing. Now she got legs. It just be running out the door, walking out the door. It go from your pocket to her pocket or his pocket to her pocket or however it go. She John them. I'm just the messenger, bro. Like <laughs> Fuck no, bro. Fuck no. Anybody that takes something from me, like, I got to keep a close eye on you. I don't even want you around me. Because if you can steal something from me, just imagine how much shit you've been stealing from me from the from the gut, from the jump. Like, no. I can't trust you. I know not to give you money. I know not to say, hold this for me. And, uh, fuck no. If I was to get locked up and I need bail money, I know not to give you the shit. Bitch, I know not to. You're going to spend it. This nigga still gonna be in jail while you spending the shit. He gonna be like, all right, all right, oh yeah, yeah, I know. Do 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 do. Yeah, you still got that for me. Yeah, yeah this this what it is. Da, 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 da. No, bitch, no. This shit already been spent. This person already spent it. They already been balled out with their friends. They at the club. They buying out tables, five hundred dollars, thousand dollars worth of tables and shit like that. Moet and all that. Nah, 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 bitch. Your man still gonna be in jail fucking with this hoe. I'm just saying. Oh, I got half of it. So what you do with the rest of it? Where the rest of it go? I gave you an ace of pentacles to save and put on the side in case something happened. Oh, I spent it with the seven of swords. Yeah, because you didn't balled out so damn hard you thought you was Kobe. That's the major betrayal way in the habit. That's like somebody's a thief. They are not going to do nothing you tell them to do with whatever money you got to give them or whatever. Just period. Or they just a thief, period. Or somebody just is a certified scammer. All they like, they been scamming. Why are you doing that? Hold on, y'all. That's why I say I don't ask people for nothing. I'm not, if I'm in a relationship with you, I'm not going to ask you for no money or nothing. Unless you volunteer your own services to do that for me. Because I don't want nobody to sit up here and make it seem like, oh, because I asked you for money, I'm going to steal it. That right there will show you. If somebody is too comfortable with asking you money, I'm pretty sure they're stealing it. They're stealing it too. Because they're like, oh, you're not going to mind. Like, oh, when they call and he asks, I'm going to just tell him, oh, yeah, I got it. Bitch, what? You don't do no shit like that. Open your mouth and ask. I'm telling you, somebody just is off the chain. Somebody created a monster, bruh. 